a very nice fish. So, Holy they, cow. <laughs> That's a go. big one. Oh, chunky looking black water rainbow trout. This is exactly what we're going for. In case you haven't noticed, I really love lake fishing. And if you have been following the episodes in the last 10 years, you probably have seen many videos of us heading over to the interior of British Columbia, particularly in the Thompson Nicola and Caribou region, targeting rainbow trout in all these productive lakes. But in the last several years, um, every time we've been out, we've noticed that my friend Kitty has been catching all the big fish, whereas I've been catching either pretty small fish or no fish at all. So it's getting somewhat discouraged, I guess. So I've done some research uh, recently and uh, I really want to catch some big rainbow trout. So I went over to GoFishBC.com. This is the Freshwater Fishes Society BC's website and they're responsible for releasing trout and kokanee into hundreds of lakes right across this province. And through the stocking database on the website, you can find out how many fish are released into each lake. And from there, you can determine which lake may possibly produce really big fish by looking at the number of fish being released into each lake. You can start filtering out which lake you might want to try out if you want to catch big fish. So on the website, I'm looking for lakes that are pretty lightly stocked, um, generally with several hundred fish, maybe a couple thousand fish as opposed to let's say 10,000 fish in a more popular lake that produces smaller fish. And once you have determined which lakes you want to fish, you can go to the where to fish section on the website and on the map, it will give you the information on which lake has what facilities, including boat launchers, whether you can bring a big boat in there or if it's a float tube only lake, and, uh, and also camping information as well. So very, very useful information and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. The other thing you can look for when looking for lakes with big fish in it are regulations. So for example, if a lake has a bait ban implemented or if it's catch and release only, that usually means it's, a, it's managed as a quality fishery or a trophy lake fishery. Um, if a daily quota only allows you to keep one or two fish a day, that's also a good indication as well. And lastly, um, if the lake is closed in the wintertime for ice fishing, and uh, that's also a very good indicator that this lake is managed as a um, trophy lake fishery in spring and summertime. So there's one particular lake I have picked out last year and I decided to focus on that lake, see if we can get some big fish out of it. So this particular lake, has, uh, it's closed for fishing in the wintertime and uh, you can only keep two fish a day and uh, there's a bait ban but you, you can, it's not fly fishing only. You can still use artificial lures, you just can't use natural bait or any scented bait on the lake. And um, yeah, and the lake is only, it only gets a couple thousand fish a year. So I figure there should be some big fish in it. So the very first trip we headed out and uh, gave it a go. Um, at the very beginning, just kind of poking around and trying to find out where these fish might be and uh, where the big fish might be. And so for the first several hours in the morning, we kind of moved around a little bit, anchored at spots where we thought it was fishy. And uh, right away, I got into some fish, but they were pretty small.
This lasted for several hours before finally I got into a decent sized fish that was slightly bigger than all the other ones. After releasing that fish, that pretty much made my day. Honestly, first time out at a brand new lake and uh, I was pretty content with, um, with that fish. But we fished for a few more hours and um, before we had to pack up near the end of the day, I finally hooked another fish when we thought the fish were not really biting anymore. First lake fishing trip of season. This never gets old. I've been doing this about 15 years now and uh, just love watching that indicator going down, catching some beauty rainbow trout. We've been here since about 10 o'clock this morning. Um, been getting quite a few fish. Most of the fish we've been getting were between 14 and 16 inches long. And uh, earlier I had one that was about 20 inches. I was quite happy with that. Then the bites kind of turned off around two o'clock in the afternoon. It's about three now. And, uh, but then we've been watching it, getting no bites. Then my indicator went down. I thought it was a small fish, another small fish, but then I, this beauty came up. So this fish is roughly around, is roughly around 24 inches long. So weighing roughly around four and five pounds. It's my biggest one of the day. One of my biggest fish um, overall, actually. So I was pretty happy with that. This is a black water rainbow trout um, released by the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC into this lake. Um, so this fish going into the lake, it's roughly around this big. Um, so it, it has been in the lake for about three, four years now. Um, what a beauty. So we're gonna let this go so other people can enjoy catching this again. So after that first trip, I was pretty encouraged by the results and uh, I wanted to go back again uh, shortly after that. So the following weekend, I brought Kitty out and uh, we went out and did some more exploring. No, 
about time for us. For this particular trip, in the morning, the fishing was actually pretty slow. Even though we had fantastic weather, it was really warm, and uh, the chronometers were hatching nicely. Um, we were marking fish on the sounders, and, uh, but they just weren't really biting. And once again, halfway through the afternoon, um, I started getting a few more bites, and uh, at one point, I had a pretty light touch on the indicator. Um, it was either a shiner, or it could be a fish just kind of nibbling at it. And watch what happened. Today, and uh, what I was saying earlier was that that's a very nice fish. Some, Holy they, cow! <laughs> that's a go. big one. Uh, they nudge a fly quite a bit instead of taking it straight down. And uh, yeah, it's beauty. This one is a beauty. Nice black water rainbow trout. That is a nice one. Okay, so this fish, roughly between three and four pounds, chunky looking black water rainbow trout. This is exactly what we're going for. Beauty fish. This fish definitely made my day. It was about the same size as that big one I got on the first trip, but it looked so much nicer. The color of this fish is beautiful and uh, the condition was fat, it was just, it was, it was perfect. So I was very, very happy with it. But I was still not totally satisfied. We're getting maybe one good fish per trip and that's not really that many fish. So we decided to head back again on the following week. Oh yeah, that's a fat one, eh? Looks like a steelhead. No, it does yeah. not look like a steelhead. Every single time we've been here, we've been getting one big fish. So I kind of want to get a few more. Good start so far. We've only been here for about an hour, right? Um, going into quite a few smaller ones, but finally getting some bigger fish. Huh, I thought he grabbed it. No. Well, yeah. Uh oh. This could be a show. Rod, don't net it, don't net it. No. No, Rod. <laughs> oh. The loons need to eat too. Yeah, let's do that now. Yeah. That was your own fault. I know. <laughs> you always do that. I know. You like getting but you your gotta, face wet. You gotta put on a show for the people. Again, the condition of this fish was pretty nice. It was pretty silvers. But I still wasn't satisfied that I wasn't getting bigger fish consistently. So I wanted to go back again and try it out for the fourth time by myself. For this particular trip, I didn't really film that much, but I did get into my biggest one of the season. Check that one out. Day three, I got a nice, really roughly between 24, 25 inch long. We're gonna let this one go. So there you have it. This is just a short video documenting my experiences uh, exploring a brand new lake, which has big fish in it. And uh, lake fishing opportunities are widely available in British Columbia. Um, there are hundreds of lakes to choose from. I highly encourage you to 
go out and check it out because the, the fishing can be fantastic. You can choose this easy lake, which has many, many small fish in them, or you can choose a lake that's uh, produced trophy sized fish like this one. And uh, even though you don't get as many bites, when you do get one, it's very, very satisfying. And if you have any other questions regarding lake fishing, be sure to leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always happy to answer your questions and uh, share your lake fishing experiences too in the comments. I'm always happy to, to read your stories. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the support. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because there will be many more to come in the future. And until next time, good luck fishing.